it's never to a point where you you vote or you know give this person power because he's a leader or the but we all have our own ideas and whose idea was it that Michael should have a solo career as well as his career within the group. Whose idea was it for you to have a solo career as well as having a career with your brothers? That was Barry Gordy's idea. In our early years at Motown, he thought that I should, you know, spin out and do a little more different things, different kinds of music, not to be obligated to one sound. And so, when I recorded the song uh, Got To Be There, that was my first solo album, Got To Be There. And it was a different type of music that I loved. And uh, of course it had its soul flavorings as well as a pop feel, whatever you want to call it. It was music and it was, it was beautiful. And that was my first solo hit record. And then came Ben, which was a soundtrack to a movie about rats. And wherever we tour, the whole world demand to hear it. We can't get off stage. People start chanting for Ben. And uh, I Want to Be Where You Are, which was a big hit. Diana Ross's brother wrote that for me. Then Rock and Robin, which was an old song <laughs> I recorded, was, um, was a hit as well. And then um, finally we come to um, my newer songs. Because uh, when we left Motown, we joined CBS and uh, we did a couple of albums. We signed a contract for you know a certain amount of albums for the Jacksons and a certain amount for me as a solo artist. And my turn came, and that's when Off the Wall came about. When they left Motown and, and left the kind of um, situation where so many decisions had been made, and was it difficult for them to? To, to adjust to not being with Motown. When you left Motown, you know, so many decisions were made. Was it difficult not, you know, to adjust? Yeah, that's the, that's a very true question because um, at Motown, it's a much smaller company. You know every face that's there. You even know the secretaries by name who work. And when you have a problem about anything, you can call Barry Gordy right up. He'll come down and he'll discuss it. Now, CBS is millions of employees all over the world. And, uh, God, it's just hard to adjust to such a big family of people. When you do want to call somebody, you call long distance to New York, long distance to Brazil, or long distance to England. And you get to know the person by business, but not by as like a personal friend. And Barry was, um, as well as our manager, he was fatherly, too. He was. And uh, we could relate to him much better. But I'm really getting in into the, the feeling, into the groove of dealing with CBS. I'm beginning to know everybody. They're so huge. God. <laughs> and did things change in the studio as well, when they, with the switch from Motown to CBS? Did things change in this studio as well with the switch from Motown to CBS? That, I would say that was the, the most tense situation ever or time of life for me was the changing from Motown to CBS. Uh, it was just, I was in a whole other world. I was, gosh. It was I didn't know what was happening, and uh, there's so much going on, so much tension. I I wasn't sure what was going to happen, and uh, I just thank God that everything went okay. We joined CBS, and I didn't know anybody there. I didn't know what. All I knew was you know what we were supposed to do in the contract, and understood everything. We went in the studio. We just did our best. And they thought that Gamble and Huff should produce us, and they did. And um, we came up with some uh, pretty good songs with them, Show You the Way to Go, which was a big hit, as well as um, Enjoy, Yourself. Enjoy Yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so many songs. And uh, we kind of 
since we've been in the studio so many years, we something just told us that we should start doing our own thing. It's time to write. Something let you know that it's time for you to go out and do it yourself. So we decided to write and produce our own songs. And we finally did. And we went through so much, you know, with the people not believing in your work or saying, are you sure, are you sure? And we said, yeah, we know we can. We know what we can do. And we went in and we wrote the Destiny album. And that was double platinum. And uh, that, that really influenced <laughs> us even more. And the Shake Your Body, which was a huge hit, as well as Blame It on the Boogie. And uh, so we really were happy. <laughs> we really felt great about it. And as well as CBS. And the next time around, we just, you know, we really feel great and off the wall. And now we're doing our new album, which is really doing well so far in the studio. <laughs> 